when you have a house full of Thanksgiving grandbabies and children and extended relatives and boyfriends, girlfriends and who all, what not, you want things to be as easy as possible. So preparing ahead of time a little bit at a time goes a long way. And that is what I'm doing in September. I'm carving this turkey, I'm getting it ready and uh, panning up so that I don't have to wait on a whole turkey to roast. I'll have the broth for the dumplings. I'll have white meat pan that'll be easy shredded. I'll have the fillets that just need to be warmed. And uh, go from there. If it had not already been frozen, I would have just frozen the fillets, but you can't refreeze meat a second time like that. So yes, as crazy as it seems, I'm preparing for Thanksgiving in September. I am carving the white meat off the turkey and I'm going to can it and then I'm going to put the bones, the skin, and the dark meat in the roast, cast iron roaster. I'm going to roast it in the oven and make turkey bone broth. The white meat that I'm going to can will be used for dressing or dumplings for the holidays. So, just an easy way to do that. For roasting what's left of the turkey, which is a lot of meat, um, a lot of dark meat, I just put poultry seasoning, pink Himalayan salt, and some pepper, and some filtered water down in the bottom to get it started. I'm gonna slow roast it for a couple hours, then I'll probably add some butter or whatever, just to kind of keep it from drying out if it needs it. It may not, because there's a lot of skin left on there. And uh, once I get that cooked down and then I debone it, I will take the bones and put them in the crock pot for 72 hours. Sometimes I only do 48, but usually with turkey, I do 72. I want to get all that collagen that I can. So I ended up with three pints of turkey breast. And I'm going to debubble really well and just mash it down in there really good. Pack it, pack it, pack it. Bubbles out of there. I'm not going to add any salt or anything to it. Because I'll be salting when I use it to cook. And I'm going to pack it really well. Then I'm going to wipe my rims and add my lid finger tight. And it'll go in the canner for 90 minutes. But as you can hear in the background, I've already got something canning. So this will be fine to sit just a little while longer. And I'm just going to keep working the bubbles out because I see them. Super important. The only areas or pockets of where something can get trapped. A germ or what have you. And this is going to cook down in its own juice, so I'm not adding water. Want to keep your area super clean. I normally do not use bleach for anything, but when I use poultry, I break out the Clorox cleanup and I, you know, sanitize really well. Because that is a cutting service and it will harbor germs. Got my vinegar cloth and I am wiping for a second time just to make sure before I add my rings and lids and this is a cold pack so everything is clean and cool and you just place it on there finger tight don't want to crank down on the lid and these will be ready to pressure can at my allotted time according to ball canning at my amount of pressure, which is 10 pounds for me at my altitude. And you need to research your time, so I'm not going to tell you mine. So that's just an easy way to do that. You raw pack it just like chicken. Same method. And I've even got extra over here of breast fillets that I'm going to cook up and freeze so that at Thanksgiving, all I have to do is keep things up. So this is 
the deboned turkey carcass with some of the dark meat and broth in the crock pot and it'll be there from 48 to 72 hours to have a rich bone broth and this is the canned end result of the turkey i had also canned some roast <laughs>